Are you ready to live your dream? Motivation, inspiration, and passion. That's what it takes to make dreams come true. Welcome to the Nadia Sahari Show. Our guests will share important tips, insights, and knowledge to help you fulfill your dreams of success. Here's your host, actress, author, entrepreneur, Nadia Sahari. Oh, yeah, here we are. We're going to have fun today. I have a different kind of guest today, and I'm so excited. And I can't wait to ask him questions. And I am Nadia Sahari. Welcome to the Nadia Sahari Show. It is June 7th, 2019. Whoa, the months are going by. It'll be Christmas when I wake up in the morning. (laughs) So, well, my guest, this one here is an illustrator. My first illustrator and animator. I'm so excited. He lives in Austin, Texas, and he is the creator of a long-running Retail Sunshine book series. So we're going to ask him questions about that, and we're going to find out more about him. And I'm going to introduce today. Phil Maki, welcome to the Nadia Sahari Show. <laughs> I just was enjoying your lovely theme music. It was such a wonderful way to start the, the conversation off. Well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. So, Hey, thank you. I feel like, feel like I've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> so, Phil Maki, you are an illustrator yeah. and animator in Austin, Texas. Will you... Tell us, let's go way back. How in the world did you get inspiration to do what you are doing today? Way back. Turn the dials of time. Back. Yes. Uh, I don't, it's hard to say when, all, when everything got started. I, I have uh, some very distinct memories of watching old black and white Walt Disney cartoons and loving those. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I, I remember my aunt drawing a picture of a little mouse and I was just fast fascinated that somebody could just draw something and this character could come out of nowhere and just appear on a page like that. And that was a very early fascination. Um, it just really just being fascinated with having characters and, and being able to create your own thing. And uh, a lot of early, early stop motion films from uh, from Will Vinton, like the California Raisins and things like that. Mm. And how old were you? About five or? Uh, I I want to say, well, I'm sure I was five when I was watching a lot of the cartoons, but I, I remember being eight and getting very involved. Uh, that was when I made a, a book in uh, second grade. We, we got to make our own books, which was really exciting. Mm. And uh, so I, 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 I drew and wrote this little book about dinosaurs. Uh, I was a very big dinosaur fanatic at an early oh. age, and I just wanted, to keep, just wanted to keep creating after that. Isn't that something? I have to tell you, I have two sons. Mm. And when they okay. were growing up, well, at three years old, they were scribbling, you know, and trying to draw. They loved pencils and paper, and they were drawing, uh, scribbly, yeah. scribbly, scribbly. And then by the time they were five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, then they started doing dinosaurs. They started uh, drawing dinosaurs and airplanes, and oh my goodness, they were just naturally talented and drawing beautiful things. And and then they became fascinated with building dinosaurs out of models, scale models. Mm. So I bought yeah. them, that's what I bought them for Christmas, scale models, and they built dinosaurs and airplanes. It was so amazing. See? I know. They went it's through that. It's good that you. Yeah, they loved it. They, it's, it's, yeah, it's good that you fostered that. It's, good that. it's hard to say, you know, how, how early all this stuff begins. I feel like it's a combination of mm-hmm. a lot of different elements, you know, mm-hmm. we, we don't really know mm-hmm. what's going to stick out. And, and I, I think it's great that you were encouraging them for all that. You know, oh. I, I remember going to the Cleveland Museum of Natural History and, uh, of course, being inspired by the giant skeletons. But also yes. they again, again, Will Vinton strikes again. There is a little uh, cartoon short they would play on on this monitor at the museum. And it was it was showing uh, dinosaurs. And I just remember being just, you know, fascinated with, with the creatures themselves, but also yes. fascinated 
with, with um, just the, the stop motion animation of, of the characters. Yes, I know. It, it, I, I remember that so clearly about my sons and they were fascinated by it and oh yes, they loved it. And even mm -hmm. my, my oldest son was in, in, involved in a junior high or high school newspaper or maybe junior high, maybe. And he drew like a three-headed monster or something like that. And he won first prize. <laughs> Great. <laughs> they, they're both very... Yeah, monsters uh, are... Yeah, they're excellent artists. Monsters excellent. are great. Mon mon monsters are, are a great. <laughs> uh, I think kids that, kids that are in, into monsters, it shows that they're into being creative because you know, monsters are this un undefined thing, yeah. whatever you want it to be. <laughs> I know. Well, great. Well, yeah. Mikey. Well, so you host and you produce <laughs> a podcast called Stay Tuned, a talk show. I do. This is a true story. Yes, well, it is a talk show. Tell us about that. Not tell unlike. Us. Not unlike your own talk show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I'm not. I'm yeah, not a so, stay tuned. What does that mean? So it comes from a, a couple different things. Um, for a long time, years ago, I uh, was drawing a comic strip called Livestock, mm -hmm. and I had this newsletter. This is back in like '90s, and I, I had this newsletter, uh, this email newsletter. This is when the internet was kind of in its fledgling state. Uh -huh. um, and and I, I would send out uh, email updates to to people who liked my comics so that they knew what I was working on next. And at the end of the emails, I would I would sign it, sign off with the words "Stay tuned." Tuned being an abbreviation of cartoon, so it's T O O N E D. Uh, basically, that just became kind of my vernacular and part of the things I would I would say when I would you know, end emails or things like that. And then, uh, so where the, where the name of the show comes from is really from that, but also it, it is referring to cartoons and the, the podcast is about the world of animated cartoons hmm. and all the people that make it. I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's very catchy Thanks. and, uh, very unique. Uh, I like you. that a lot. I wish I could do something like that Thank with you. the Nadia Sahari show, but I can't. <laughs> I guess well, I could put... Hey, your name is very unique. You get a very unique name. There's nobody else out there who's going to go around saying they want to make Nadia Sahari show. So that's, that's very much your own thing. Well, thank you. I could spell Sahari S-O-R-R-Y-E-E-E-E. -E -E -E. You could. You could. Or you could do a play on your, on your own name and, and, and say something like, You'll be sorry. Or I could do naughty, N A U G H T Y, <laughs> naughty, oh, sorry. You, you, you could naughty, sorry. You'd be sorry if you're naughty. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, that's funny. All kinds of well, potential. <laughs> well, we're going to take just a few seconds and, oh, okay. I, and we will be right back in 30 seconds with Phil right. Maki. back and we're going to continue our show with Phil Maki who is an illustrator, animator and has his own podcast talk show. Yes, and so where But he can... won't do windows. And won't... <laughs> <laughs> he won't. He won't. He won't. <laughs> Neither will <No>. I. <laughs> I never, um, I never understood that. That's an old, that's an old joke. I never understood that as a kid. Though I remember seeing it in a bunch of cartoons and things. I just thought it was such a strange saying, but it's funny. There's a ukulele <laughs> player, and I'm trying to think of his name right now. From way back in the 40s, I think, and he was a comedian. The magic that's... of the internet. You'll be able to find it later. Exactly. That's right. I will. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, tell us about your animation. Uh, what, besides okay. your talk show, uh, what do you have yeah. out there that's animated or creative that uh, you're well, working on right so, now? Yeah, well, the stuff that I'm working on right now, uh, the animation I'm working on right now, isn't 
really visible yet. It'll be visible when I'm when I'm done with it. And unfortunately, uh-huh. the nature of being a uh, an artist who is has a lot of interest is sometimes you get distracted from one thing and get pulled to another. Oh boy! So, <laughs> so the, the thing that if people want to watch. If they want to watch something right now, they can find me on YouTube. They just search my first and last name on YouTube, and there is a, a cartoon on my channel called Better Off Hungry, and something I made in college, but I'm still pretty proud of it. It was uh, my first color cartoon, mm-hmm. and uh, it features my livestock characters. But what I'm working on right now is uh, is an animated short based on my retail Sunshine comic strip book series. Oh, cool! So, what is that exactly? Yeah. Retail sunshine. Retail sunshine is yeah. It's a it's a comic strip that started in 2008, and it uh, basically follows my life of what I experienced a lot uh, when I was working in retail. I worked nine years in retail, mm-hmm. and uh, had a lot of a lot of comedic uh, uh, situations arose, and so I created a comic strip series and. Now I'm animating it and making it into something that people can watch. So uh, we'll see how that goes when I when I get it done. Oh wow, that sounds interesting. Yeah, that sounds yeah. Really there's interesting. A, there's there's three books out uh, in the series right now. People want to get acquainted with it. Uh, two of them are illustrated poems, um, so they rhyme, kind of like a Dr. Seuss book. And uh, the other one is a collection of comic strips. And so oh. people just want to read, you know, funny strips like you'd see in the newspapers back oh. when people would do that. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> a little bit. Yes, little bit. they have. <laughs> I don't know if it's for the better, but we'll see. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I think as long as people, people will find ways to, to make their creative works seen, it yes. may, the venue may change, but they'll still yes. find ways to do it. Yes. It'd be interesting. I don't know if we'll be around, but it sure will be interesting to see what happens after internet, social media, and all that stuff. What's the next, uh, the next creative world environment? Yeah, I don't. I don't plan on going anywhere. I'm. I'm sticking around forever. I'm. I'm going to figure out how to live forever. So don't worry about <laughs> it. I'm, I'll let you know. Okay, good. <laughs> I might not be here though. I'm much older than you. <laughs> Well, that's good. We'll just, we'll just we'll take your we'll take your brain and we'll put it inside of a, a, a an amazing looking robot. That's then, probably what they'll do. And then you'll be able to. Yeah. Yeah. As long <laughs> as she's be beautiful. <laughs> as long as she's beautiful, I'm okay yeah, with see? it. Yeah. She'll be she'll be a beautiful robot, and she'll have all of your witty personality, and you can just keep making the show. It'll be great. Oh yeah, we'll see. Well, you remember I was talking about the ukulele player. Um, his name was George yes. Formby, and he's like the godfather uh-huh. of ukulele. He had a piece called When I'm Cleaning Windows. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll have to look him up. It's kind of a cool song. It's a cool, yeah, uh, I'll a have cool to. tune. It really is. So on your talk show, because it's about yes. animation and illustration, and um, are your guests all about that as well? Yeah, kind of all of the above. That's what's cool about the show. Uh, it keeps it interesting for me, for sure. Uh, is, is anybody who is in, involved in producing animation, and that means if somebody is composing music that's used in the score, mm-hmm. if somebody is writing, writing scripts, mm-hmm. or if, you know, so it's not just animators. I mean, I do, get, I do have animators on the show, but I also enjoy having voice actors and just everybody involved, you know? Oh, and also drawing illustrators, like book illustrators, uh, that type of thing. Uh, I, so I, I haven't really, I haven't focused on people who only do that, but, but believe it or not, a lot of the people that are animators are also book illustrators. And so I had a guest, yeah, I had a guest on earlier this year and he, he animated professional animator in the Mm nineties, but he is recently, uh, he's been recently pulling away from that and and putting out uh, illustrated books instead. So of course we talked about his book. Well, oh, in your bio you call yourself a cartoonist, illustrator, entertainer, yeah. portfolio, and web yeah. star. So when you say entertainer, what does that mean? I you know it just means wherever I'm going, <laughs> there's a there's a party that's going to happen when I walk in the room. That's exactly what it means. Okay. People know. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I like it. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's so, a way of life, not that's a That's right. A way yes. Of life. Isn't that true? We all are natural entertainers. I mean, we really are. We're natural actors, mm -hmm. natural performers. That's right. Life is yeah. a performance. I, I got an email this morning informing me that I need to drive up to Dallas tomorrow for an audition. And so <laughs> it, I, I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't know that was going to be in my, in my inbox this morning. So, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it really is a way of life. That's right. Exactly. Well, tell us, the audience, how can we listen to your podcast? How can we find you on social media? Well, yeah. Hi, hi, the audience. How are you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm pretty easy to find. I, really, if you can throw a stone and and maybe throw it at uh, directly at the uh, at the ground, and somehow it'll find a way to hit where I am <laughs> on social media. So, um, really, uh, if you search either my first and last name, that usually brings something up. If you want to listen to Stay Tuned, just search Stay Tuned, and that is spelled S T A Y T O O N E D. Two words. Just search that on any of the major podcast uh, platforms like, you know, Apple or Spotify. Mm -hmm. And then I have a YouTube channel. Again, it's under my, under my first and last name. And you can find me on Facebook if you like. I'm really, I'm really on there quite a bit. Well, let's spell <laughs> your last name for them, Phil Mackey. Oh, Mackie. yeah. So it's, yeah, I just think of it as uh, Mac High. <laughs> so M A C H I. <laughs> so too bad it wasn't so if high. You're saying Mac. hi to your apple. I know, I know. That would be an, hi, Mac. that'd be more appropriate. Yeah, but for all you Apple users out there, all you, all you backward speaking Apple users, it's Mac. Hi. No, oh, I love Mac. <laughs> there you go. I love Mac. Yeah. I'm a Mac user. There you oh, go. Yes. I'm, I'm a former Apple tech support guy. I used to do that for a little while. Oh. And now you're not yeah. you're not in love with Mac. Oh no, it's not that. I just I, I left I left working a, a day job to pursue creative pursuits full time. So oh, that was over go. a year ago now. Well, good to know. Good to yeah. know. Okay. So Phil, I know you have a website. So how can people access your website? How can they find you? Yeah, really easily. Uh, they can find my comic strips and everything else I do at retailsunshine.com. Oh, I like that. RetailSunshine.com. Okay. We're all going to go there. We're going to look at your cartoons. I that, that would be great. Yeah. You can even hear some clips from Stay Tuned. And you can see some of uh, some of my dinosaur comics that I, are in progress. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't even tell you about that. Yeah. Oh, you didn't? No. Well, well tell <laughs> us about it. Oh, oh. Well, there's a, I mean, it's, it, the project is kind of on hiatus right now, but uh, but there is a book series that I started drawing years ago, and then I put it down, and then I picked it up again, and it just keeps it keeps having this ebb and flow. But the series is called Not Quite Extinct, and it is about a group of dinosaurs. Oh, cool. Okay. And that's on your website. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People can even they can even get some original, not quite extinct artwork uh, in print <laughs> form from cool. there. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Phil so definitely Mackie. throw all throw all your throw all your money at me because uh, <laughs> I'm no longer being paid by the by the Apple company. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, Phil Mackey, this is this was great. This was a great interview, uh, different for me, and I really enjoyed it. I might have to have more illustrators and animators on my show. So let me ask you before I, I let you go. Idea. Yeah, before I let yeah, you go. Yeah. If someone out there wants to be an illustrator, animator, what advice would you give them? to continue with their dream because you are living your dream what do you, mm -hmm. advice would you give you know uh the best thing i would say is is just find find a way inside yourself to learn how to get through the lulls because the lulls are going to happen you're going to have times where you don't feel as inspired and it's going to be frustrating and it's very easy as a creative person to get defeated and the best thing you can do is find a way to encourage yourself and build yourself back up out of those periods because it's easy to do all this stuff when you're really feeling it and it's hard to do it when you have to when you have to get yourself back on that track mm, i like that i like that mm-hmm 
Yes. Yeah. Because living your dream is a struggle. It doesn't happen quick. It takes years. Sometimes, sometimes it happens quick. Sometimes it doesn't. You just have to be patient and um, have hope and motivation and passion. Yeah. Most of the time, I would say uh, this stuff does not happen quickly. If you find somebody who's who's succeeding at one particular thing, typically you could find out that they've been doing other things for years and years and years relatively unnoticed. And so yes. you, you might be surprised about how how long it takes for yes. any of this stuff to stick. Yes. Amen. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, Phil Maki, thank you so much for being on my show. And I really loved it. I love mm-hmm. it. And it's been wonderful. And I know that I will see you in the next meeting and and I appreciate that you came to my show and that we had this discussion and your advice is valuable and my show is about well, thank you, helping Nadia. people. You're welcome. And I love yeah. I love my shows. I love them because everyone has a story of success and how they got there. It's not easy. And it's great to share our stories to give hope and inspiration to those who are struggling still and to know that Yeah. They need to keep going. They need to not give up. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And that, that what you said about everybody having a story, that was the inspiration for making Stay Tuned, was telling everybody's story, the, the people who that usually are in the background, and they don't, they're not well-known, but their, their stories are just as valid as everybody else. Yes. We all have one, and they're all valid, and they're all different. Mm-hmm. Even though we have the same dream, we still have the different story of getting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And one day we're all going to be brains and robots, and it's going to be <laughs> even more interesting. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, <laughs> Phil Maki, you're funny. Okay. Uh, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you real soon. You take care and have a wonderful yeah. weekend. Enjoy. Thank you, Nadia. Thanks for this opportunity to join you. I, I I had a good time being here, so thank you. Thank you. I did too. Thank you. You have a great day. <laughs> you too. That was Phil Maki. What an inspiration. It was wonderful to have him on the show. Very different. And my first illustrator animator. I love it. So I want to thank you again. So thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for my next guest. Oh, it even matches his show. Stay tuned, his podcast. Don't forget, Phil Maki, stay tuned, his podcast on Apple and Spotify. And thank you for joining us and for listening. And please share the show and have a great day. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. God bless each and every one of you, and be happy, and be loving, and be kind. Thanks for tuning in with Nadia and her guests. For more info, episodes, and connection, please visit our website, thenadiasahareshow.com. Share episodes with your friends. Follow us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Instagram, and most importantly, never give up. Live your dreams.